everyone, welcome back. If you're new here, hi. I upload every other day, so if you need some entertainment, hit that subscribe button. I started the day by cleaning off my makeup brushes. So satisfying because I have the time, why not? We know that I don't do it enough, so. Actually, that's kind of a lie. I recently got this new brush cleaner. It's like waterless. You just like clean your brush with it. You don't need to use like water. It's like an easy clean, you know? So this is freaking awesome. I got it on Amazon, I believe. I'm pretty sure it's in my Amazon store, but I just put it in like a little Tupperware container and then I dip my brush in it and rub it off. It gets them so clean. I actually took a clip for you guys so you can see the before and after because it's so amazing. It's kind of expensive, but this bottle will literally last you for so long. Like I've had this for months. So anyways, that's random, but highly recommend if you need something that's easy to clean your brushes, especially now we want to stay sanitized and that's a very easy way to do so. Especially if you wear makeup a lot and you're using the brushes on a daily basis, you want to keep them clean. So did that today, got ready because why not? In a comfy, cozy outfit today, though, so I'm feeling good. I'll show you guys what I'm wearing. Our bedroom's a little messy, so don't mind. Turn the light on. Full, comfy, cozy today. Uh, my sweatpants are from Boohoo. These are their basic mix and match joggers. They've been sold out for a little while, but I do keep linking them for you guys because they come back in stock, so just keep your eye out, and um, they sell out really quickly, so keep your eyes peeled for those, but they're like just a basic oversized jogger, but they're so affordable and so freaking comfy. I have them in a few colors, and then my sports bra is from Fabletics, and my zip-up is from Boohoo as well. It's just like an oversized long zip-up. It's super duper comfy. And I was gonna curl my hair, but I used the Revlon blow dryer yesterday and then I slept on it So I just kind of let it just be itself I actually spent a little bit of extra time on my makeup today and I feel like it came out really well I feel like maybe the last few times I've put on makeup I've just kind of done it quick because I'm staying at home and it doesn't matter But today I actually sat down and took my time and I feel like it came out like how I always want it to look so we did a podcast this morning so I'm feeling pretty productive like we got some stuff done so that feels really good oh also we have an unboxing let's do that I'll bring it in here I've heard so many different things about germs lingering on the packaging that the virus can spread through it and I have no idea what's true what's not so we're gonna be cautious just in case if you guys have watched my recent videos I recently got new lamps for the bedroom and I went ahead and ordered the bulbs and they said they weren't gonna get here until April 18th like a long time away from now but they actually came early so I'm so excited here they are basic Edison bulbs Let's see what they look like look how cute oh, love okay and then I also got a stock up of my conditioner I'm just running out now I use a different scent so I wanted to try two different ones this is like a super affordable conditioner from Amazon. I think they sell it other places as well, but it's hair food and I love it. Like, I don't know. I just feel like it smells really good. It, it like um, lathers really well. Is that the word that I'm looking for? Like it gets your hair really like moisturized. So um, I wanted to try two different ones. This one is avocado and argan oil. I forget the one that I have right now. I think it's coconut something. And then this one that I got is tea tree and lavender water. I don't know. They just both sounded really good. So I wanted to try them both. You're always going to use conditioner for the rest of your life so I might as well order both. Ooh, that one smells so clean. It almost smells kind of cologne-y in a way. This one is the avocado and argan oil. Ooh, that one smells really good. This one smells like a hair salon. Ooh, I love both of these. Oh my gosh. Which one am I going to use first? We don't know. We'll put both in the shower and whatever I'm feeling that day. <laughs> okay, I'm going to go put this box away while I have gloves on and I'm going to sanitize this. I'm also gonna sanitize the table that the boxes were sitting on because you can never be too sure. My phone as well, it's been a little bit. Even though I'm not leaving the house, you just really never know how easily this thing can spread. It's kind of scary, so. I mean, by kinda, I mean very. I just let Zane smell these and we both agree that this one is so good. It literally smells like a hair salon. So if you're into that, like I used to box dye my hair and this reminds me of that. Like the conditioner that comes with that box dye. Oh my gosh, it smells so good. This is the one that I have right now. This one's amazing as well. Coconut milk and chai spice. This one smells very like tropical smelling. So they're actually all really, really different. On a brighter note, I did not know this, but I just wanted to put the garbage outside and oh, my god, it is so nice out. This gets me so excited to have barbecues in the backyard, especially since we can't leave. Like, might as well feel like we're having like small vacations outside. So I can't wait to start barbecuing, barbecuing up and doing some renovations back here. It's gonna be 
so nice. This is unfortunately what it turned into all winter. It's honestly not too, too bad. I'm very sad that I let our palm trees die. I don't know what else I would have done with them though to make them stay alive. So we'll just have to buy new ones this year because those were like literally made the backyard look so tropical and beautiful. I want to get something to cover this up, some sort of wall decal because this was from like an air conditioner hole that just wasn't patched up. So instead of buying like, they don't make this, um, siding anymore to, to match and it's kind of expensive so i'd rather just put like a some sort of wall art out here so if you guys have any suggestions let me know and then my main thing is this grass it's so sunny out i can't even see the screen but zane here, and no. i Oh, but then it's that. shady. Anyways, it is so sunny out here, so I can't really see. But Zane and I were just standing out here talking about possibly doing turf. So I wanted to see if you guys have any suggestions or if you've done turf or if you know, like, where I should get it from. We are just thinking about the possibilities because if the weather's going to stay like this, I want to be out here all the time. I just don't know if there's a realistic turf. You're saying there is, but I've never seen. I always think of like football fields. I mean, I did a quick search online and there's like nice realistic I'm sure turf. there is. I'm not saying there isn't. Yeah. That I would just would be really cool. So it just stays alive. It just That's does. what I'm saying. Like for me, like last year I bought all real plants and I just, I don't, I'm not good at keeping plants alive, clearly. And so then I went and got fake flowers and I put them in and literally look, they lasted through the freaking winter. Like they're literally they lasted all through those storms and everything. Literally. Like I just left them out here. Oh my god, you guys cannot even see. But they're still like bright i mean they're not they're a little faded but they didn't die that's my point and this is i mean these i'm gonna get again just because R.I.P. yeah just because they're so, so pretty nice i mean i could get fake ones but then we'll have to take them inside in the I winter say, how were we supposed to get this live we just have to take it inside um yeah oh, and then water it and I, see this is the things that i do that's why i buy fake yeah, we could have put in your window or something yeah i just get nervous bringing plants outside inside because of the bugs in them um i could have put it in my parents porch but she said she put hers out there and it's died so mm. i think there was really no avoiding it they were only 20 bucks each i mean that's expensive but maybe i'll just buy fake I mean, plants. not really 40 bucks for two gorgeous plants yeah and they last all summer they lasted all summer yeah and if we buy them earlier yeah like i mean i don't know when everything is gonna fix itself mm-hmm but, I mean, let's say I don't even want to put a date to it. I don't know. If we buy a $40 plan, so yeah. I think it'll be good. Yeah. I'm, I can look up, too, like, how much, like, outdoor fake palm tree plants are. Because those are something we could take inside when it's not summer, and they'll still be pretty inside. Sure. You know? Yeah, maybe that'll be smarter. Yeah, because then it'll make us feel like it's not winter time. But, yeah, so I'm thinking that we're going to do turf just because keeping the grass alive and, like, it's just not my forte gardening. I'd rather... Especially if this is such a small space, I'd rather just spend a little bit, have it laid down, and just be done, and that's it. It'll last through the winter, last through summer, like, we don't have to worry about it growing back or dying or getting heat, you know, whatever. And the only reason is because it's such a small space. I think if we had a huge, giant backyard, then we would, like, landscape it properly, but it's just so easy since it's so tiny to just get some turf so if you have any experience on that any suggestions on what we should do how would that even work would we have to like do we just lay it on top do we have to rip up the grass like i don't know i have no idea actually yeah it is a little bit bumpy so yeah i feel like we'd have to level it out mm -hmm. but i don't really know how that works i would assume it's like normal sod you know how like sod comes in rolls right like, roll it out. yeah yeah i would imagine it's like the same thing and yeah have to cut like spaces for the tiles and stuff yeah that would be a pain in the butt we're gonna need diy dad for that i'm kind of upset at myself for leaving this rug out here too it got like all gross yeah and I freaking bought an umbrella stand last two years. When did I do this? Last year. And I never bought an umbrella. So I need to do that so I can edit out here. Because it's going to start getting nice. I want to sit out here and enjoy it. And I can't wait to barbecue. It's literally so nice out right now. We could barbecue. We could. We yeah. have, I think we have propane too. Yeah. If our propane is good, which I don't think we used it very much last year. Like we should have a good amount. Like we're going to do a barbecue tonight. That'll be super fun. Hopefully there's nothing scary in here. Because we didn't cover it. Ooh. Okay, we're good. No scary creatures. Holy guacamole though, you guys. It is so nice out right now. I literally just want to just go like this. Just the other day I saw you looking my way. Uh, start to contemplate moments that went to waste. Uh, why you okay, I just sat in this chair and took some Instagram pictures because the sunshine just makes me feel... Like, I want to come alive. I don't know. It just, like, does something to you. Especially since it's been winter. It's been cold. I mean, we've gotten on a few walks, but it hasn't been like this. Like, it is 
hot right now. It feels so good in the sun. I'm like such a person that can just sit here and just like bask it in. So nice. I'm just sitting here and reflecting and thinking and getting excited for when we're able to improve in the world and get back out. I'm excited to go to the little um, adventure land that's on Long Island. It's like a little amusement park here. I want to go there. I'm excited to go out east and go out to eat at outdoor places. It's so funny, I saw a tweet the other day that was like, I just want to hear the waiter say, what kind of appetizer would you like? And it's so true, it's like the little things in life that you miss, you know? I'm trying to not think about this whole month and thinking about what good it's gonna be when we come out of this month, you know? I want to go to the city so bad. This weather is the perfect time to go to the city. It's not like sweltering hot, but it's warm. It's not like freezing. It's just comfortable. I want to go see a Broadway show. That's definitely gonna be one of my first things that we go do after this is over, <laughs> is go into the city and see a Broadway show and go out to a nice dinner. It's so exciting. I think today's a good day to sit out here, relax, have a nice drink. I'm gonna sit on my phone and just chill. Or maybe I'll bring my Animal Crossing out here. That's a good idea. I always forget that that's so portable. All right, let's go do that. Let's, let's chill for a little. That sounds good. Take time to breathe today. Ready, do it with me, ready? Hold for four. That's something that helps me. Like, I'm, I don't have anxiety, but I do get anxious, especially during a time like this, I get some anxiety. So I do four counts in, four counts hold, four counts out. I imagine a square in my head. I go four counts up one side of the square, four counts hold, four counts breathe out. So helpful. You guys should try it. Today I'm feeling good though. The sunshine has me feeling good. So let's go get a drink in Animal Crossing. Oh, and we have lemonade made, amazing. So good you guys if you aren't familiar it's just lemonade like basic lemonade mix and then a strawberry watermelon syrup which i got from like tj maxx obviously you can't go there now but i'm sure you could probably order it on amazon i'll find one for you guys and then just some vodka or alcohol of your choice and it tastes like a summer popsicle i highly recommend the smirnoff red white and blue uh vodka that one is bomb in here we just don't have any left but still just as good i'm gonna bring out some pita chips and some hummus this is from lidl garlic hummus and garlic and parm chips oh my god it's so to die for like so good got my drink let me get my animal crossing i forgot about that oh yes you guys do something that makes you happy today and i know something just popped into your head when i said that so whatever just popped into your head go do it pause the video go do it i'll allow you to pause <laughs> Let's go. Oh, I'm so excited. Yes. Happiness during quarantine is important for your mental health. I'm so excited to make it cute back here. I kind of want to add like a cute like sofa, outdoor sofa kind of set. That would be cute out here. Anyways. Why you do that? You drop me like who that? And put me through that? Baby, it's useless. I'm living my life. Don't need you in mind. Me feeling just fine. One of a kind. Who better than I? Okay, it is now 4.50. I don't remember what time I sat out here, but it feels like it's been a little while. So we're gonna go inside. I drank my drink too slow, so I didn't even... Oh, maybe I am buzzed. When you stand up and then you feel it. <laughs> I'm gonna put this stuff away and then I'm going to marinate some chicken for like a half hour so that we have something to put on the barbecue instead of just like plain chicken breast. So let's do that. All right, hands are washed. We're gonna do this McCormick Chipotle pepper marinade. We've never tried this before, but it says 15 minutes or more, so that's perfect. A smoky blend of chipotle peppers, tomatoes, garlic, and onion. Sounds good to me. Something fun to try instead of just seasoning the chicken and putting it on the grill, so let's do this. All right, if your chicken breast is big, here is how I butterfly it. It comes out perfect every time. I use tongs, hold it right in the middle.
Bam, butterfly chicken. This smells interesting. It smells like barbecue chips. All right, we're taking a large Ziploc, putting in the seasoning marinade thing packet, putting a quarter cup of water in here, and then it says a quarter cup of olive oil or vegetable oil. I'm gonna do half of a quarter cup because we're only using two pieces of chicken, so I wouldn't imagine we need that much. So that's two tablespoons of oil for two pieces of chicken. I think that is plenty. I'm gonna actually close this and shake it up. Now we close. I like to leave air in there so that I can shake it really well because then you can go like this and really coat the chicken. And we're gonna put it in the fridge for 15 minutes or more depending on when we're ready to eat. Yum! All right, we've got that marinating so we are now gonna prep our sides. On the side, we're just gonna have some asparagus and grilled onion. I don't have that much asparagus left because I use some of it for a different recipe. So we're just gonna have some onion with it, like grilled. I'll show you, I'm gonna put it on a skewer. And then since we're just having grilled chicken and veggies, I figured we can treat ourselves with a little mac and cheese. What's a barbecue without mac and cheese? So I've never done this before, but I've seen it as a tip for the onion to not fall through the grill is to put it on a skewer. So we're gonna make onion skewers and then you can eat it with the chicken, eat it with the asparagus. I would just eat grilled onion straight up because it's delicious. Let's try this. I don't know if it's gonna work, but we're gonna try. I am obsessed with these little placemats that I got from Dollar Tree. They were literally like two for a dollar. I got them a while ago, but they're probably still there now. They are awesome. Like just so good for cutting so many things. All right, I got a half of an onion here. I'm gonna peel it. I want to buy those um, savers. I saw them on Remy's channel. She has like an onion saver so that I don't have to keep using baggies. Cut off both ends and then we're just gonna peel it in sections. I think that'll be the best way. Oh, okay, let me cut it in half though. That makes more sense. Okay, we're gonna cut it right in half. And then you're gonna have, yes! And then you're gonna, oh, she, look at me go. Oh my God, so yum. I love onion. You guys probably think I'm crazy for doing this, but this is gonna be so good with the chicken and the asparagus. Mm. Oh my god, is it bothering anyone that I put the bottom one opposite? That's annoying, let me fix that. Oh my god, it's so cute, and now we have like one skewer each. That's adorable. I get way too excited for food. <laughs> oh my goodness, so cute. I was trying to get there for a thumbnail and I put onion too close to my eyes. Ow. Oh man. I was gonna say, how cute is this? We can use this as our barbecue tray to bring everything out, but I just realized it's cracked. I just got this on New Year's. We can still use it though. We're gonna put our little onions on here. We're gonna cut off the ends. Skirt, skirt. I'm gonna rinse these and dry them. Oh, I, I love asparagus. Favorite vegetable, hands down. Also peas, close runner up. But asparagus, amazing. I'm giving these baddies a cap full of olive oil. And I'm also putting a little bit on the onions. Salt and pepper, half of that made it on the tray. <laughs> and of course, garlic and onion powder. Those are literally my staples for everything. Salt, pepper, garlic, and onion powder. All everything. It will always taste good. <laughs> There's our veggies. We're gonna get the pot of water going for the mac and cheese. All right, while that water is boiling and the chicken is marinating, I'm gonna clean up a little bit and then we're gonna head outside and barbecue. Let's do this. Play I'm Crying by Lizzo. Cause I love you by Lizzo. Sure, playing on Spotify. I'm crying cause I love you. Oh, 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 oh. Shawty don't play that game. Shawty don't play that game. I don't keep you safe. Time that I'll be okay. I don't play that game. Shawty don't play that game. I got a lot to do, I got a lot to do got a lot of... At the crack of dawn, in the dark of night, what I got to do, got to do. What you expect, how I forget these thoughts of you do, do, do. Don't need no reps, I'm in the jet, gon' fly the coop, fly the coop Shawty, don't play that game, Shawty, don't play that game I won't keep you safe, time that I'll be okay oh. Don't play that game, Shawty, don't play that um, game You gotta move them so that I can fit everything I don't want to mess up the grill marks now. Baby. You know? <laughs> what do you mean? Or you could do those cool. with the things. Oh my god, so cute! You didn't even tell me what the marinade is. 
Oh yeah, it's a surprise. Is it barbecue? <laughs> like the sweet baby rays? No, it's like an actual marinade. Oh really? Yeah. Mm. Move the asparagus, uh, flip the onions and then move the asparagus around too. These wood sticks are burning, baby. Oh, I was supposed to wet them. <gasps> no. <gasps> no. Oh, you did it. You saved it. They're actually they could be done, I guess. Oh, yeah. Since the wood is burning. Just put them back on here. I think I was supposed to wet the. Yeah, you're supposed to do that. Yeah, not be it. It's okay. They still came out good. <laughs> no. Then you just dropped an asparagus. Baby, no. Da, da, da. <laughs> yeah, put it down. Oh, thank God. That's why I put it diagonal. Between. Wait, did you move them a little bit? There you go. Yeah, yeah. Don't play that game. Won't keep you safe. Time that I'll be okay. Don't play that game. My goodness. Baby, that looks like, like a real piece of grilled chicken. <laughs> I know. It's so good. I literally take a picture of everything that I make or eat. Which is good. Because now we won't ever forget all the good stuff that we make. That's true, but I always forget to post it. Ooh, nicely cooked, nicely cooked. Mmm. Mmm, a little spicy too. Uh oh. A lot of spicy. It's hot. That was actually such a good dinner, and we love making barbecue, so I can't wait to start doing that more because it was so delicious. Look how cute though. I like put the backyard together for now since it's gonna start getting nice out. We can like chill out here until we like rake up everything and like make it all fresh, you know, we give it a spring cleaning. But so far it looks pretty decent. I'm so excited, but it's getting really cold now, so I'm gonna go inside. I saw a funny screen that was like now I get why dogs like going outside so much. I know you're stuck inside all day and then you get to go outside. This is actually so nice because there's minimal cleanup in here. You don't cook in here, so it's nice and clean. We just got some leftover mac and cheese, put the dishes in the sink. And now we're gonna play our game over cooked. I'm so excited. Zane's still eating mac and cheese. You called me. Benny, you're so cute. Oh, here he goes. Ready, ready. What, like literally a trapeze artist? He likes sitting with me. My bench? Are you what are you doing? He's just destroying your chair one little claw at a time. All right, so we're going to play our overcooked game, but Zane doesn't know anything about Animal Crossing. He didn't play it when he was younger like I did, so he has no idea what it's about. He's like, I don't understand. And he laughs because on Twitter people say like, oh, you literally just vibe in the game. Like literally. What? I was saying, I understand now. You do? Yeah, it's just vibing. Just vibing. I get it. <laughs> it's kind of like Sims. You have to like <clears throat> live the life of the character. But anyways, if you guys have watched videos on it, I've been watching like things to do every day and stuff like that. And one of the things you can do is like a hack is to get all the tarantulas because they're 8,000 bells when you sell them. So um, there's like a hack when you go fly to another island, you get like all the tarantulas to spawn but I suck at stuff like that and I feel like Zane would be really good at it so I want to show him the video on how to do it and have him help me tonight and try to do that so we're gonna try that also I've been interested to see if you guys are interested in seeing me like should I do like a video game video <laughs> like playing Animal Crossing like a stream yeah not a stream like I would do like a video on my channel or maybe make a twitch question mark I don't know we'll see just a thought. Or Sims. I have to start up my Sims. I bought it and never started it. But anyway, so we're gonna play video games for a little bit. <laughs> okay, so we literally just went to like three islands. Three or two? How many did we go to? Zane's into two. it. He, it's so fun. <laughs> we went to two islands and it just wasn't happening. They were like elevated. It just wasn't good islands to spawn the tarantulas. So I went and picked up oranges and I didn't know how much they were worth. So I mad at myself that I didn't get a whole tree, but we're about to see how much we could sold 10 for 10 for 5,000. Yeah. Okay. Let's see how much he offers with all these. <gasps> Yo, screw the spiders. Let's just get oranges. <laughs> oh my God. I'm going to finally Yo, pay off my so house. Bank. Holy guacamole. That's a big chunk right there. 31k. What? Can you pay interest? No. <laughs> <laughs> okay, update. We finally found an island. Unfortunately, our axe broke, so we couldn't chop down any more trees. So we have to have them in our inventory. But we got three already. Oh, it creeps me out. I hate even looking at it, Wait, even that's though it's. 24k. A... That's enough to have your house. Yeah! <laughs> They're like coming real quick, so like let's try and get more because. 
they sell for 8k. It's pretty funny to try and get them though. They're terrifying. I know, this is so scared of them. It's so scary because they chase you and oh, there's another one. There's another one up top, up top, up top, up top. Up top screen, top screen. Yeah, 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 yeah. Oh. Come here. <laughs> spidey, spidey, spidey. Please come here. You have to like sneak up on them. Oh, oh, oh. Baby, baby. <laughs> Our inventory has a bunch of those 1,000 bell bugs, so I'm down for switching them for an 8,000 bell bug. <gasps> There's one behind you. You got it! Shit. You can't touch this! You can't touch this! He got it! He literally tried to fucking sneak it up on me. 180 this shit. Oh my god. Nice try, bud. This is so fun. Okay, we've got two tiger beetles. So it should be 3,000? Okay. Yeah. What about the other one? Oh, baby, you should have kept them. So we can have like a big lump sum at the end. Oh. Oh, what am I offering? I'll tell you, Timmy. We're doing just the bugs, okay? All right. Oh, yeah. 63,000. Woohoo! Well, technically 66,000. Okay, what ready? a trip. Ready, ready, ready. Go pay off your house, baby. Ready? Yeah. I finished paying off my home loan. Woo! Woo it's so red. <gasps> 348 k for one extra room? We're stuck in quarantine for another three months. We gotta catch some tarantulas. Alrighty, everyone. And with that, it is my time to go. I am exhausted. Played for way too long. So, today's notification shout-out goes to Devon Torella. Thank you so much for watching. And you were one of the first comments on my last video. So, I appreciate you so very much. And thank you for being a part of the notification squad. It means the absolute world to me. If anyone else would like a notification shout-out, comment down below. Letting me know they have my notifications turned on. And you might be in my next video. I love you guys so much. Thank you so much for watching, and I will see you all next time. Bye, guys.